Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to clean a Merrimack Arms Derringer. This is a one-shot gun. It is a very small little thing. They're really cool. It's an old gun, uh, just like in the old Western movies. One shot, it's about a 38 caliber, it's a 38 bullet. Some are convertible, 38s, 357s, but uh, that depends on which one you get. This one here, 38, one shot gun, Merrimack Arms. You can see the tiny little bore revolver hole there. So that is it. We are going to clean it today. Now to open it, you saw me do it several times, you simply pull the hammer back just a tad. Now you do that because otherwise the tip of the hammer there prevents the barrel from turning. Uh, also push this little button here on the bottom and there we go. To close it, do the reverse. You could also pull it all the way back and then open it up. And then to release the hammer, you pull it back and then hold the trigger, slowly let the hammer down. So that is opening it. That's really all you need to do for the barrel. The rest of the gun is simply just wiping it down with a little bit of gun oil. Uh, you can use some REM oil. I love REM oil. It's quick, it's easy, it sprays on. Uh, also, if you have shot quite a bit and you have lead in the barrel, you'll want to use some bore cleaner and a good bristle brush. I haven't shot this very much because it is more of a collector's item for me. So I'm simply going to wipe it down with a bunch of REM oil. I've got a nice cloth here and then run a patch right here with the gun cleaning rod through the barrel to get that cleaned up. Now, if you also need a cleaning kit, this is a great one. 76 different pieces. You can clean just about any type of gun you like with that. So here we go. To get started, I'm going to wrap this up just like that. And then we will open this. Okay, get the rim oil and use this handy little straw here. There we go. And squirt it right in there, just like that. And from there, it's real easy. Just push this in. There we go. And that's it. Now, obviously, this should really stay on, but I didn't have it screwed in all the way, no big deal. It's part of life, isn't it? But there we go, get that nice and clean. You can pull it through both ways. And there we go. So now you can take a look you can't really see it very well, but you can see the glint. There it is, right there. Nice shine, very clean bore. So that's nice. I'm gonna close that up so we don't mess it up. And then next step is give it a little shot and use this cloth, wipe it down. It's very important that anytime you handle a gun, uh, you wipe it down after use because there are oils on your skin that can penetrate and damage the protective finish. Of course, anytime you are working on a firearm, uh, whether you're cleaning it or even looking at it, handling it, it should always be unloaded. As you can see, I showed you several times before we started that it was indeed empty. There was no bullet in the chamber. so. That should go without saying, but it is very important that your guns are unloaded while working on them. So here we are. This is it. We've got the little Derringer all clean and nice. Now, if you really want to get technical, you could remove this screw here and then pop this out and this would remove the hammer could also pull this trigger out. Uh, you could take these grips off, but that's about as far as you could go with disassembling this. I mean, you could really take the whole thing apart, but for what we're doing today, that is it. That's all we need to do is 
clean the outside, clean the metal, just get it nice, looking good, and there we go. So that is it. How to clean a single shot Derringer handgun. I really hope you like this video. If you do, please click that like button down there. Also, hit that subscribe button, and if you subscribe to the channel, I would love it if you leave a comment telling me you subscribed. Just say, I subscribed. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to put them down there in the comments section as well. Stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.